it's not that I just suddenly became this daily writer in July of 1994. I've always been a writer. I owe so much to Mrs. Keefe, my second grade teacher, who saw that I loved holding a writing instrument and I was pasting thoughts onto that page, not listening to anything she was saying, be it math, be it reading, be it playground time. No. All I wanted to do was write, to put words on a page because there was just something there. And as I've grown older, grown through the chapters, I've always believed that what I write is what's moving through me. What is in your right now? What is happening that everybody else is ignoring? And maybe it's not for them. But if you take the chance to just sit in an open space and receive, you will begin to see. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. What must you see? Many who are new have traveled a very long way. It was a walk always spoke of. But did you know what you would see? Are you learning, wanting to participate, openly willing to invite and unite with our communities? What do you see when you walk into a grocery store? Do you understand the banking system, the buses, the trains that carry loads of inner city travelers to destinations leading to monthly pay and or time for play? How have you changed? Was it supposed to be this way? Where you explore, build, dream again. In what you see, do you fight for the freedoms or embrace the awkwardness? The scent of so many nations, the sounds of generations clashing, yet somehow it still comes out as music. What would you like to see? Change comes with challenge, but maybe nothing like what you've already moved through. In what you see, will you teach me to see? Writing is an opportunity, it's a gift. I don't believe it's a talent, but I believe it's just that one moment, that one step in a direction that takes you away from where you think you want to be. I think one of the greatest challenges about writing was when my first book came out and they put it in the new age religion category. And it was like, I don't get it. I, that's, that's, not, that's not what it was meant to be. But that's what I was labeled. And so the second book that came out, guess where it ended up? New Age Religion again. So it's like, how did I step off where I wanted to be? And how can I get back to where I need to be? Being aware of the words that you place on a page and or on social media is actually part of the image that you are carrying. And it may not be what you want to see but it's our interpretation of what we see. So I ask again, what do you see? Many who are new have traveled a long way. It was a walk always spoke of, but did you know what you now see? Do you challenge it? Do you bring it forward by way of saying, I'm going to challenge the freedoms and get back to where I want to grow? Or, as I'm seeing, (sighs) Such is life. I'll just do what life is giving me. I know so many people that have got life coaches. I talk with life coaches on the podcast. I understand that we all need that leadership. Someone to grab us by the nap of the neck and say, hey, this is the walk and march that you need to make if you expect to go where you see. But if you're not clear with what you want to see, then you're allowing other people to control you. I've been on this journey. For 36 years, I took that walk, trusting others because I could see, but I didn't know how to see in the way they were seeing. I just played along. My daily writing, it's all I see. It's there, but to a passerby or to a future reader, they may shrug their shoulders and say, I don't see what he saw. I don't get it. I'm Errol, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.